today we're doing Lesson 156 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 156, I walk with God in perfect holiness. I walk with God in perfect holiness. Today's idea but states the simple truth that makes the thought of sin impossible. It promises there is no cause for guilt and being causeless, it does not exist. It follows surely from the basic thought so often mentioned in the text, ideas leave not their source. If this be true, how can you be apart from God? How could you walk the world alone and separate from your source? We are not inconsistent in the thoughts that we present in our curriculum. Truth must be true throughout, if it be true. It cannot contradict itself, nor be in parts uncertain and in others sure. You cannot walk the world apart from God, because you could not be without Him. He is what your life is. Where you are, He is. There is one life that life you share with Him. Nothing can be apart from Him and live. Yet where He is, there must be holiness as well as life. No attribute of His remains unshared by everything that lives. What lives is holy as Himself, because what shares His life is part of holiness and could no more be sinful than the sun could choose to be of ice, the sea elect to be apart from water, or the grass to grow with roots suspended in the air. <laughs> there is a light in you which cannot die, whose presence is so holy that the world is sanctified because of you. All things that live bring gifts to you and offer them in gratitude and gladness at your feet. The scent of flowers is their gift to you. The waves bow down before you, and the trees extend their arms to shield you from the heat, and lay their leaves before you on the ground that you may walk in softness while the wind sinks to a whisper round your holy head. The light in you is what the universe longs to behold. All living things are still before you, for they recognize who walks with you. The light you carry is their own, and thus they see in you their holiness, saluting you as Savior and as God. Accept their reverence, for it is due to holiness itself, which walks with you, transforming in its gentle light all things unto its likeness and its purity. This is the way salvation works. As you step back, the light in you steps forward and encompasses the world. It heralds not the end of sin in punishment and death. In lightness and in laughter is sin gone, because its quaint absurdity is seen. It is a foolish thought, a silly dream, not frightening, ridiculous perhaps, but who would waste an instant in approach to God himself for such a senseless whim? Yet you have wasted many, many years on just this foolish thought. The past is gone with all its fantasies. They keep you bound no longer. The approach to God is near. And in the little interval of doubt that still remains, you may perhaps lose sight of your companion and mistake him for the senseless ancient dream that now is past. Who walks with me? 
This question should be asked a thousand times a day till certainty has ended doubting and established peace. Today, let doubting cease. God speaks for you in answering your question with these words. I walk with God in perfect holiness. I light the world. I light my mind and all the minds which God created one with me. Remember to ask, who walks with me? That's lesson 156. I walk with God in perfect holiness. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.